Hey guys, Don to for here. Today we will be doing something different. We will be talking about the KF console. If you haven't heard about the KF console, I'll just play the video. So yeah, it's a computer that has a chicken chamber built in it and works as a regular PC. You might be thinking, how does KF Gaming and KFC mix gaming and a food company, right? Well, let me tell you. On May, on May 2015, KFC made a game called Colonel Quest. You play as Colonel Sanders playing a bunch of mini games to earn golden drumsticks, such as Courtroom Brawl, where you play as a warrior and you need to kill the client in 30 seconds or less to get a golden drumstick in 6th grade dropout, where you have to jump and slide on the desk to escape the classroom and to get back home to your family while your teacher is trying to stop you and she falls she falls from some rules apparently, but I've done it anyway. But yeah, surprisingly, those are all real games. Somewhere at KFC one day thought, hey, let's make a game about beating up clients and escaping from school. They even went so far as to making limited edition drumstick controllers. This isn't the first time KFC did something like this. In Japan, they did a raffle for a KFC keyboard, KFC mouse, which is shaped like a drumstick, and KFC USB, which is also a drumstick. There were three winners, and they each got either the keyboard, USB, or a mouse, so they so there were only one of each. They also made a KFC Xbox controller, which a lot of people didn't like, but personally, I liked it a lot. The design was pretty cool, as I don't know how to get it though. Sad. They didn't forget about the more players, no, they were going all in. The game was Box 2.0, and the takeout box that is a Bluetooth controller and a phone dock. For the VR players, KFC made a KFC training game where you made where you make food called the hard way. If you throw a chicken, the the portrait of Colonel Sanders' eyes will turn red and will raise the bean with chicken. And that wasn't enough marketing. Around Christmas, KFC would sell fireworks that smell like their fried chicken. Gross, good I don't know, you guys can debate about that. But when KFC announced that they were making a console, I was pretty surprised. It really isn't a console, it's more like a PC that Cooler Master is helping to build. You know, the PC company? The thing that stands out the most about KF console is its chicken chamber. This is from Cooler Master. Utilizing the system T and airflow system, you, you can now focus on your gameplay and enjoy a hot, crispy chicken between rounds. The thing is, how does it work? Well, I can tell you. With extra heat, so they usually have a fan to push the heat out, of the PC and into your room. That's why sometimes your, um, your room gets hot. But with the KF console, it uses the heat to keep your chicken warm inside of the chicken chamber. So you can pull out a drumstick while beating the ender dragon. Sounds good, right? But the thing is, KFC isn't the, uh, actually isn't the first person to come with right, this idea. Back in 1963, I know a long time ago, there was something called the Easy Bake Oven. The idea was like the KF console. It used heat waste to cook. Instead of heating elements, the Easy Bake Oven used incandescent light bulbs. The light bulbs would get hot, similar to your PC or console or whatever you use, and it would use the heat to cook. You may ask to yourself, ask to yourself, where does all the grease go? Well, there's a remo well, there's a remo removable tray that catches the grease and oil. Just to make sure that empty so it doesn't overflow. That'd be bad. All, all this thing needs is a disposable controller that covers so you don't need to wash your hands every time you eat a wing, then it'll be perfect. But, we'll just have to see. So let me know if I missed anything guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!